Hey guys, in this video let's look at how to create vaulted geometry using kangaroo physics. This is more like a form finding tutorial. So basically what we will do, we will try to use a mesh plane, feed some anchor points and apply some spring load and let the kangaroo give some mesh form. Before we begin, I'm using kangaroo physics to do the simulation and for subdivisions I'm using ladybug. Ok, let's begin. Ok, let's go ahead and bring in rectangle component. Given x value was 35 and y value was 70. Now let's try to create mesh out of this. So bring in a mesh plane component. Give a rectangle here. Give 25 at the width and 50 as the height. Basically this is the subdivision. Now this gives you a mesh output, bring in mesh component and plug it in. Now let's group this and call it as and call it as base mesh subdivision. Now uh, let's get the boundary vertices of this mesh plane. So bring in naked vertices component and plug it in. Now this gives you a point inside the mesh plane and the boundary points. We want boundary points. So bring in a point component and plug it in. Okay. Now let's bring in another point component. So what we will do, we will try to give multiple points from Rhino viewport. Okay. So right click in here, set multiple points. So go ahead and pick in these points. Basically these are the points where we want to get the mesh to be anchored to. So we need to grab points which are closer to the points which we have given as a multiple point and keep them as an anchor point. So in order to do that, let's create a spear and give it a size as 5. So what we are trying to do is grab the points which are within the spear limit. Okay. So to do that, let's bring in point in B-ribs. If you notice, there are two components. One is point in B-rib, another is point in B-ribs. So we need point in B-Reps because we have multiple spears here. So now plug the spear into the B-Rep and these points into the point in. Now bring in dispatch component, plug in the points to the list and inside to the dispatch pattern. Now bring in point two point components and plug in these two lists into the points. Okay, so this gives you inside points and outside points. Okay, now comes the kangaroo pot. Go to the kangaroo tab and bring in edge lens component. Plug the mesh in here and let's set the length factor as 0.1. Now let's bring in an anchor component. Now we need these inside points to be anchored to the base. So we feed these points in here and give the strength a 75. So now let's apply some load. So bring in the load component. So what we need is here, we need all the vertices from this base mesh. So to get the all the vertices, let's bring in deconstruct mesh and plug it in here. 
Now this gives you all the vertices. Now plug this into the point. And now the spring factors basically we want to go upwards. So Z direction. So now let's bring in a Z direction component and give it a value as 0.15. Okay, now let's bring in show component to be with. Now let's merge all of these output as one output. So bring in the merge component and plug in all of them and flatten all the inputs. Now bring in the bouncy solver component. Okay, let's bring in a button component for a reset. And boolean component here. And plug in the result from here to the goal objects. You see it started. It created the mesh. But the problem here is that if you notice the edge lengths are stretched here so let's do one more thing bring in anchor xyz component now these outside points let's plug it into the point input here and for x y and z let's give a boolean value so what it does is that you are setting the direction factor as a true or false so that these points are affected with the edge lens. So let's set true for Z and false for X and Y. You see now, it's perfect now. So you, you can go ahead and play with the boolean settings for these X and Y Z inputs and check the result. Now let's get the list item component and plug this here and now let's convert the mesh into a poly surface. So bring in poly surface component and plug this to a mesh input. Now let's subdivide each of the subdivision into a triangles. So go to the ladybug tab and bring in skewed uh, quads. You can do anything, I'm just trying skewed quads here. Now, let's give U and V as one unit. Now, if you plug in the poly surface output to this input, oh, it doesn't work. Why? Because, okay. Now, let's deconstruct the beer up. Okay, plug in the beer up here. And now, let's have a surface component and bringing the faces here bring the surface here, yes it's working now now turn this off see now it has subdivided into triangles now let's do uh, one more thing let's scale these triangles ok so to do that let's get the center of each of the triangle so bring an area component and plug the geometry here now this is not an accurate center point so to get the accurate center point Bring in surface closest point component. Plug the surface in here and centroid in here. Now bring in the evaluate surface component. Plug the surface in here and the UV points from here to here. Now bring in a scale component, plug the geometry here, point here and give the scale value as let's say 0.8, done, see it works. Now if you want to increase the subdivisions, go to the initial rectangle creation and change the values.
now if you press the reset button see it is start simulating now if you want to extrude these bring in an extrude component let's give an amplitude and vector input from the normals here and the value let's set as set it as 0.1 see it's working so it started extruding now you can change it to 0.2 you play with the values so also if you want to change these initial input points you simply adjust the points in here show the points here now come back to the reset button and press reset make let me make it as a wireframe see it's nice so it's like kind of a form finding so play with these anchor points boolean values it's up to you i mean i leave it for you that's it for now I hope this was helpful if you like this video I would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that would give me a motivation to do more videos and if you specifically want to know any trick kindly do let me know in the comments below I will try my best to make a video thanks for watching